I'll share with you an origami that I learned in math. I hope you can follow through the steps. First, you need a rectangular strip of paper. What is a rectangle, by the way? A rectangle is a four-sided shape with opposite sides that are parallel to each other. So let us see. This side, the vertical side, is parallel to its opposite side. The horizontal side is also parallel to its opposite side. I have just shown you that the opposite sides are parallel to each other. And not just that, the opposite sides must also have equal lengths. So let us see. Let's check the horizontal sides. Indeed, the horizontal sides have equal lengths. Now let's try the vertical sides. The vertical sides are also of equal length. Opposite sides of equal length? Yep. The adjacent sides of a rectangle should not have the same length. So let's see. Let's compare this vertical side with the horizontal side. See, one side is obviously longer than the other. Finally, a rectangle must have right angles on all its corners. See? Indeed, the corners are right angles. Okay, let's review. A rectangle is a four-sided shape. Opposite sides are parallel to each other. Length of the adjacent sides are not equal. Corners are right angles. And opposite sides have equal length. Once we have our rectangle, we then fold it into two equal rectangles. Fold in half crosswise, right to left. Freeze well and open. Folding the rectangle into two equal parts creates a line of symmetry or an axis of symmetry here. An axis of symmetry divides a shape into two identical or symmetric parts. Step 3. Hold down the top right corner along the axis of symmetry here. Hold down the top right corner along the axis of symmetry so that the upper edge lies along the crease formed by the center fold. Four, hold down the top left corner along the axis of symmetry, here. Hold down the top left corner along the axis of symmetry so that the upper edge lies along the crease formed by the center fold. Note this that we have created an isosceles triangle. They have two congruent sides. See? And two angles that are equal in measurement. There we go. Step 5. Flip the model over and rotate it so that the pointed part is at the bottom. Step 6. Hold down each of the top four corners. One, two, three. will look like this. Flip the model over again to reveal your heart shape. You can actually write messages under the triangular flap. 